are following some major developments out of the Middle East this morning. Two U.S. officials confirmed to CBS News that an Israeli missile hit Iran. The strike comes after Iran launched more than 300 missiles and drones towards Israel last weekend in response to a strike on its consulate in Syria earlier this month. Iran's state-run media has reported that three drones were shot down over the central city of Isfahan. Now, that city is the location associated with sites uh, associated with the country's nuclear program. This video, posted by an Iranian news agency, appears to have been taken near Isfahan's nuclear technology center, with a caption saying that the site is, quote, completely safe. The U.N.'s nuclear watchdog confirmed that there has been no damage to Iran's nuclear sites. Meanwhile, Syrian state media claims Israel carried out a missile strike targeting an air defense unit in the southern part of the country. And in Iraq, people in Baghdad have reported hearing explosions, although the source of the noise is not immediately clear. In response to all of this, the U.S. Embassy in Israel has issued a security alert to its employees and their families, restricting their movements in the country. And soon, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to address the attack as he wraps up the G7 foreign ministers meeting in Capri, Italy. So we are monitoring things there and we will join once it begins. Uh, but joining us now from Tel Aviv is CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayeb. MTS, what more can you tell us about this strike? What sort of reaction are we hearing? Anne-Marie, good to be with you. A lot of developments overnight, and that's where we start. We're in the early hours of this morning. Loud explosions were heard in the central Iranian city of Isfahan, in which two U.S. officials said that that was Israel striking Iran back for that strike that, as you rightly pointed out last weekend, uh, in which uh, Iran launched over 300 projectiles at Israel, which included drones, crews, and ballistic missiles. Now, we don't know what exactly Israel used to target Iran. Iran saying, really minimizing it, really describing it as just sort of small drones, I think was what the words that they used. Uh, but again, it's really a, an escalation uh, of this uh, conflict, this conflict that has really been in the shadows between Israel and Iran, really now coming out into light and saying all of that. What we are also seeing here is a real de-escalation, Anne-Marie, and I think that is something that the Biden administration has been pushing for really ever since uh, Israel targeted Iran's embassy in Damascus two weeks ago. Now, in terms of actual reaction, the only reaction we've had publicly from Israel has been from Israel's extreme far-right minister of national, uh, uh, national security, Itzmar ben Kavir, who tweeted one word, Anne-Marie, and that was lame or hmm. uh, in the Israeli translation. Uh, now, he's been criticized uh, inside of Israel for saying that, uh, saying that it's criticizing Israel's uh, retaliation. But it really just underscores how what's happening between Israel and Iran is such a sensitive issue. But the fear is, is that if things were to escalate, that it would draw uh, Iran into this already brutal war we've seen in Gaza, and that is something very few people want to see. But this is a very quickly uh, unfolding situation, Emory, and it's uh, certainly very alarming that this has happened, but many are also seeing this, again, as a de-escalation. Emory. All right, MTS, thank you very much. So for more on this, I want to bring in Asha Castleberry Hernandez. She is a U.S. national security and foreign policy expert. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's talk about this. You know, an Iranian official told Reuters uh, news this morning that there is currently there are currently no plans to respond against Israel. You heard that Iran is really downplaying um, this attack. Did this attack do what it was meant to do, which I, by that I mean allow both sides to save face without ratcheting up the tensions? Yes, I, I think the, the attack did uh, perceive a message uh, and achieve that desired outcome, which is, um, you know, initially was, was perceived as, oh, is this a miss? You know, it did not hit a nuclear uh, facility. Uh, there's many around in that in that vicinity. So but but again, it, it, it the hit the counter strike was actually about targeting uh, an area near it so we can send a message indicating that we will retaliate and we will do next time possibly the actual facility, but this time we're not. And by the way, we have successfully penetrated your airspace. And by the way, in response, 
Your response showed no international support with regards to an, an you know interception or excuse me in, intercepting the uh, actual uh, counter strike like what mm. you saw uh, in Israel where you've had the United Kingdom, United States, uh, even Jordan and Saudi pro uh, providing support to the Israeli security forces. Mm -hmm. So it's significant to note that that this counter airstrike was able to penetrate the airspace of in Iran. I think it's a, that's a really good point. You know, prior to this, though, world leaders urged uh, Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu to show restraint. The Biden administration, uh, you know, urged Netanyahu not to respond at all. Does the Biden administration or allies around the world, do they have any influence on Israel at this point? Uh, it, I would say the influence is quite limited. Uh, I mean, under the leadership of uh, Netanyahu, he has been very clear that he will pursue uh, re retaliation. Um, it's part of the culture that if you hit uh, Israel, we are going to retaliate. Um, I would say he's feeling it in terms of the international community saying, hey, show some sort of restraint. But as of now, he's in pursuit of his own strategic interests, which is uh, that I have to protect the state of Israel. And, um, and, and that is what I feel is the best thing I can do right about now. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, I would say for the most part, it's been quite limited. Mm -hmm. Asha Castleberry-Hernandez, thank you so much mm -hmm. for your insight. Thank you.